guessing you've also experienced pain. A lot of people think pain as this monster. A reframe of this idea would be something like pain is almost a constant, whether internal or external, but it's used for good as well as evil. If you burn your hand on the stove, stop. If your toast tastes gross, you probably left it in the toaster too long. Two heat-related metaphors. Everyone gets pain. We all know what it is to stub our toe. That is literally a thing that's been done by every human to ever have lived. Even the most nimble life ever to see Earth has to have stumbled. Stum. the next time you don't stub your toe. Right, but as humans, we both do great, mighty, and unfortunate, stumbly things. So we feel pain. We go, ouch. Maybe we curse a little, or a lot, or throw a pillow, or the dog. I don't recommend doing that, but who am I? So we feel pain, and we react in a way that we pull away from it, imagining that our perfect happiness was just interrupted, perhaps by something less than happy. Instead, this reframe idea is that we don't actually feel happy all the time. I've had a line for a, a while, happiness has the shelf life of milk. Perhaps I stole it from a stand-up comedian or a pro wrestler. Happiness doesn't last eternally in that way, but also pain doesn't last. Chronic pain I could do another video about. Unfortunately, that is a different beast. Chronic pain is something else. But the momentary flashes of bright, ouch, this sharp suffering hopefully leaves as quick as it came. That's more, I think, to draw our attention to mistakes we've made. Oh, I wish none of us made mistakes. I wish I didn't make mistakes. Certainly as many as I've made in my life, as many as I've made today, but our mistakes are present in some moments, and we fail, and then we have to deal with those mistakes, and we have to deal with failures. We have to see it through. Sometimes pain stays. Sometimes mistakes that are made are so big that they affect us, those around us, the people that inflicted it, whether we inflicted it upon ourselves or someone else did it to us. Those pains can last. Those post-traumatic stress disorder, those traumatic memories, those broken windows in our souls. It's hard to put a pretty bow on pains like those. If you stub your toe, you remember to put your feet more carefully in places. Trauma response is different. It's a different pain, and it's a different effect. Some say that your pain comes back to you every time you think about it. People nowadays seem to be reliving their pain. Every time you see them, the nerves stack, panic, grows thick, and we all of our briefcase, backpack, or duffel bag of past traumas that we are desperate or terrified or both to share. The thing with pain. Some trauma, though, can become paint with which to color world. And I know that may sound pretty words on a burned down house, but pain really, pain can make bold, bright colors inside and outside of people who ache and pray and to die in need of beauty, loss, 
when survived can breed beautiful color suffering when surpassed can make the skies change these aches and longings and loneliness and devastation are meant for more than just to kick you in the teeth when you're stuck in the mud there is a purpose and a plan for your pain and mine and all of ours this destiny is not wasted or lost just because we are fumbling around or getting ruined by life or others we suffer for a reason and if you give up you will never know what that reason is you will just take that suffering as the ultimate you'll bow down to it and give up it is lonely and it is painful and sharp it is vicious in moments it doesn't seem to make any sense anymore instead of happiness can we not seek peace i am filled in my agony even with a core of joy i was told that joy is knowing that there is someone glad to be with you even in suffering not when you're happy not when you're rich not when you're blessed and doing great this image is of god who is right here even when you are in hell even when the flames eat you alive from when you go to sleep and don't want to wake up till when you wake back up and walk back into the fire the imagery is of god is glad to be with you and is watching you not only deal with your problems your free will but the free will of eight billion other people crashing together like raindrops into a sea the pain is for a reason i am glad to be alive and to be with you you are not alone thank you for coming and being with me here i can't know that you are here.